sacred site for Native Hawaiians on Oahu's North Shore. And now it's looking for talented artists to help preserve and showcase traditional Hawaiian cultural forms. We welcome Alan Diamond, Cultural Programs Manager at Hi'ipaka LLC, Waimea Valley, and Alika Bajo, Abajo, he's a kalaipohaku, or a stone carver, and a resident artist at Waimea Valley as well. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for thanks, having us. Thanks for being here. I know you guys have made the long trek. It's Kaleiwa. <laughs> yeah, kind of long, huh? yes. <laughs> And a little bit of traffic, a little bit of rain, but we appreciate you being here Thank and you. being safe. Waimea Valley, inviting Hawaiian artists. At, why, why are we doing this? Uh, we do have eight resident artists, and... Um, what we wanted to do is open it up a little more to um, be on the North Shore to bring in artisans to enhance the visitor experience. And, uh, you know, Waimea is known for being the place of the priests, Kahuna Nui, that represented different skills. So we want to open it up and bring more people in so more, more people can learn about what our artisans did. And, and one of them joining us this morning in Alika. Alika, thanks for being here. Your beautiful work Welcome. is Thank in front you, of us. Ron. Thank you. Your thoughts on what you do and why it's so important also to invite others to be a part of this. Well, um, you know, obviously it's full on cultural stuff, right? Um, what makes it real special is that actually my grandfather taught me really? how to carve stone. I didn't really realize I was learning back then, right? But uh, as an adult, I took it up again and it all came back naturally to me. So what I'm trying to do up there is just to share the culture with people and to share um, this is specific yeah mm -hmm. stone carving is specific so um, when I set out to do this a lot of people think that you just get a hammer and beat on a stone and you get one of these no right. it's no. not quite it not <laughs> at all I mean, don't have to you're looking at some intricate, intricate work here that with the point pounders and and what else you have ads here what yeah, else do you have? I have ads over here this took me like six months to oh carve. My. yeah um, this is a, just a candle holder that I made that was only a couple weeks but this bowl that I made took like four months. Four months? Yeah, it's time consuming the things that I do, yeah. But uh, that's what we learned from our kupuna is patience. 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 And you got to hand that yeah. down because yeah. share that gift. Exactly. That, and that's what I share on a, on a daily basis pretty much with our visitors in the valley. And I can see some Ulumaika stones. Yeah, Ulumaika. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, wh how do people apply to be a part of this program? Um, we have it on our website. They can go to www.waimeavalley.net and um, they'll have a tab for our visiting artisan program and um, it's open now so we are asking for applicants right now very nice very nice and again we welcome everybody no matter what your ethnicity right no matter right. what your race no right. matter your skill right. level if your manao is pono is right there then come on yes. in. come on down <laughs> all right very good Alika, thank you thank beautiful you, Ron. work and thank, thank you, you to papa for teaching oh, yeah. you <laughs> now it's your turn to teach that's exactly that's what i do <laughs> to appreciate it we thank, thank you right. mahalo for having us. Us. <laughs> 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 i had to sneak in there john venerio's here he starts saying trust